So the theme this month has very, very much been F1 fishing with the videos that we've done, despite yes. it possibly being the worst freezing, horrible, as cold as conditions can't get ever, hasn't it? Any worse <laughs> it? to do this. But the fishing hasn't been. The no. fishing's been phenomenal. So the, the videos that we've done have been nice for shallow fishing. But what we thought we'd give you a lot as well is our top five. Very cheesy this, isn't it? But our top five f one e shallow tips, isn't it? For yes, absolutely. Summer F1 shallow fishing, which I honestly think everything... It's important, it does, it's serious. We're not just bodging this for a, everyone has a massive difference, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. So, what we're gonna start with, I'm gonna let you pick one it, to start it, with. It's basically short fishing, isn't it? So, Tony Curd, is this style of fishing? Is it all short fishing? <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, I mean, it's short, short top kits, short threes, you know what I mean? Short Everything's length. about short, isn't I'm it? I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for this thing first, which a short three or a short four, depending on obviously what pole you got. Yes. All it's doing is just completely stiffening up your pole so you can hit them lightning quick bites because trust me, the bites are ridiculously fast when you're shallow fishing. Yes. So anything you can do to stiffen your pole up uh, just makes a big difference, doesn't it? Yeah, I think do, definitely. It's worth mentioning, uh, certainly with, uh, with the F1 kit on as well, when you go past sort of 13 metres, it just it's yeah, unbalances yeah, yeah. your... Oh, sorry. It's, uh, it unbalances your pole a little bit, doesn't it? Doesn't it, though? It, it gets, gets a little bit It just doesn't feel nice, yeah. No, it doesn't. With a short kit. For 13 metres... Short kit, short pole is a lovely combination. That's what I'm, I'm going to go into mine at the same time with short kits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, this has been You're well on it. documented. You've, you've ne never really been on them before, though. I've have had you? a serious love hate relationship with mm. them, but I'm liking them a lot more now. I'm using them in different ways and I'm liking them a lot more than I ever have before. Yeah. And for short, shallow F1 fishing and for on deck fishing at many like little intimate venues, tunnel, monk or parts as wherever. The phenomenal. You're just into them a lot quicker. There's none of this like, nang, 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 is it? Yeah, it, it's. I think because I didn't use them very often. I'd use them and I wouldn't like it. Yeah. Now it's gone the opposite because I've done a lot more F1 fishing the last few weeks. And whoa, I've whoa, used long whoa. ones. A lot more F1 fishing. Oh, Don't mate, oh, you have blooming catches F1. Don't start. You know what I mean? But I hate long kits now for that because yeah, yeah, yeah. they just feel a bit cumbersome. I mean, when you need more elastic for carp, long kits definitely the way to go because you need a bit of flex and you need more elastic. Yeah, yeah. That's one thing I would say they're not for. Not, I'm not a fan of short kits for carp. Not enough elastic. And I not don't know. Some of ours, mate, the proper beast mode. We do some big bore ones, and they're ridiculous for carp. Oh. I've had some like proper heavy elastic in, in like serious angry but, kits. I know, but you wouldn't under, use them for mugging and no, things like that. Under normal circumstances, you do, as you say, need yeah. the flex, longer kits. Yeah, stick to it for just F1 fishing. But yeah, yeah, yeah. short kits just they improve your playing of fish because yeah. they make you land them quicker because you got less elastic. The lack of flex in the pole makes them pop up quicker. They pop up closer. Pop up there, don't they? Yeah. Point. Everything has a benefit, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. And when used in conjunction with what you said, with a short three or four, or normally three in most cases yeah, now, yeah. isn't it? This, this little baby here, they just make everything better. Yeah. You know what I mean? They make hit more bites. Every, little things that you think, oh, it won't make a difference. It does. Yeah. It just speeds you up, makes you smoother. Yeah. If you haven't used short kits yet, you have to have a go. Uh, at short kits for F1 fishing, without a doubt. Now, 100%. Onto the actual sexy fishing bit itself, what we call it, short kits, short kits. Yeah, the, the riggy side of things right. and making things efficient. Go ahead. No, let's touch on that last. Let's do rigs and Dacrons last. Next will be hook lengths, wouldn't it? Oh, have you seen how prepared I am? Now, I've been yeah. through a few of these, actually, because of the match, all the matches that I've been fishing. <laughs> I need to top these up again. Oh, yeah. Jamie, you, you, do, you need another lockdown before I you do. get any more done. I do. We need to, get our, <laughs> need to get our boy on the job. But, yeah, sort of like, I know, two-inch up lengths, nightmare to try. We, to tie, rather. We've covered it loads. They're a nightmare, but you've got to have him. Two, three, no longer than four-inch. There's no, there's no longer than four inch in there because yeah. of the style of fishing, shallow fishing, uh, it just stiffens everything up and you see the bites a lot quicker. Yeah. Almost sort of like self-hooking, but more more often than not now, three inch up length and then obviously when it's when it does eventually get warmer and yeah. the fish comes shallower, two inch up lengths, they do make a massive difference. It's, it's not a gimmick, is it, Jay? No. They so generally, generally do make a massive difference. Yeah, but in situations, being able to put a bulk of shot yeah. Two inches away from your hook without being on a hook length. It just it's massive. It took me ages to get onto it for because it lost looks horrendous. Like mm. you shot that far away, how can that possibly catch? But don't matter, they just come straight into it, nailing yeah, it. That's seeing the bite, I think, more that's what creates yeah. it to happen. It's the bolt effect, and again, it's just efficiency, but it's matching a hook length to proportionality of your rig, isn't it? So when you're six inch, you want a two inch, when you go to ten Some inch, you want a three inch. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You I want it you bottom mean. end, and depending how yeah. shallow them fish come. Obviously, you reduce your, your length of hook mm. length accordingly. But yeah, for shallow fishing, twos, three. For F1s, twos and threes. Definitely. With it, shorter the better in most situations, just because you can put a bulk on top of it and, and get them to 
magnify the bikes against hook themselves. That's a yeah, huge like one for me. That with hook clamps. And while we're on to that, so that's the, the bitey thing. It's all about rigs and Dacrons, isn't it? Or the, the way you connect your rig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, the next tip in that the way you choose to connect your, your rig when shallow fishing for F1s can be the, the difference between hitting bites and not hitting bites, can it? Yeah. If you have a big, long, flo floppy, horrible Dacron. Got one here. This is what I mean. I mean, we talked about this long time. I what you were about to whip out <laughs> there when you did that. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> right, carry on, Jay. Carry on, mate. <laughs> From this point, it all the souls, the legs open, and watch this, Jay. Let's yeah, no, I found it. it. <laughs> you children watching, <laughs> behave yourself. So. Oh, you know me too well. I found it. This is what I mean. I found it in my box of tricks here. What are we getting? Go on. I've got, I'm getting a longer Dacron that you don't need. You know what I mean? That's what I'm showing. Right, so, right. what else have we got there? We've got, a, hey, that's a method up length there. That'll do. Yeah, I'll be having him again. He's not going away. That'll go, go so in there. well. Right, so yeah, these things, Jay. <laughs> so your traditional, like, longer Dacrons, like that, them aren't what we want for, like, this style of fishing, for shallow fishing. No. Fire for fishing like... on the bottom or slapping for carp. Yeah, perfect. But they, because you've got that bit of resistance of the Dacron, the fish feel that and spit your hand out before you even know you've had a bite. 100%. Or quickly before you can respond to the bite, rather. So you need two different types of Dacron, either what Andy's got there, which is a bead directly onto the... Yeah, onto bead the direct elastic. onto the elastic. Literally just um, a knot tied in your elastic. So obviously your rig goes behind there, tighten it up to it so your knot sits just above that knot. Uh, sorry, the... Um, yeah, it's a knot, isn't it? Yeah. So your knot... That didn't sound right, though. So your knot fits above the knot. I know what your I mean. loop. Your loop, that's your it. Knot. So your loop fits above the knot. Yeah. Pull it down tight, and then obviously your connector just comes in over the top. The only thing uh, that I have issues with is obviously changing the elastic because you will see this wearing a lot quicker. So every every three or four sessions, you might want to. But you're only taking like a few cent. What, what have I said wrong I've there? Come back to what you just done before that. Just, oh, with it. Just popped into my head again. Pulling that out. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. So that, that's the only issue I've got with it. Every three or four sessions. Now, bearing in mind, we're fishing quite often, a aren't lot. we? But you're only pulling, like, what, two centimetres, something like that, off every time. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> She's just going worse, isn't it? And then, obviously, just make sure you keep an eye on it, yeah? And I'm, I've done, yeah, mate. For, go for, on, just For go. that reason, I'm just not a fan of them. Because you're sure... Because but, you have got to keep a check of it. But just make sure it. it's pingy, like, and some of the other elastics, I mean, that's gone. I've, yeah, quite a lot of elastics come off that one, folks. But on the other ones... Uh, you know, I do have it set quite pingy, and that's the beauty of having your side puller. You just to have it, it nice. So, from I'm the opposite, I still prefer that from the shallow fishing. Bit weird. I mean, that is a proper babby one, that, isn't it? But I'm after you know tiny I mean? ones. We'll do a little zoom in now for Richard on the big doofer. But yeah, I want a Dacron that's anywhere between two and three mil. Mate, tiny, ridiculous. tiny little ones yeah, that allow me to use a Dacron. Yeah. I've not got to keep checking my elastic anywhere yeah. near as much as I have if I'm attaching that. Yeah. Just prolongs the life of my elastic that if you're buying. Elastic that mm. can be anything up to what flipping 15 quid a go, depending yeah, on what you buy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want my rig to be knacker in it, it just prolongs the life of my elastic. I just think so that looks neat as well. That does, I it? think that's more efficient. Yeah, that probably gets that it's perfectly yeah. that's as direct as I can get it and still use a Dacron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather do that. So, that's the last thing. Oh no, the last thing that we're um, gonna oh. continue on this short subject is um, the distance between your float and your pole. And it's Depending shoot. on fishery rules, doesn't it? What you're yeah. allowed to do, there is almost no such thing as too close. No. When it comes to your float to your pole. Yeah, the closer you can have it and still allow your rig to work, so it's not becoming cumbersome with you Especially wobbling about. Especially when it's windy as well, and that's any trouble with having a short lash when it's windy. It's like it's blowing your rig out and it doesn't yeah. look natural, does it? Bit jerky, but I think you've just got to forget about that, doesn't matter. Although your rig might look horrendous sometimes. They still up themselves, don't they? Still look themselves. I'd rather have the self hooking properties mm. than the. Rig looks nice, but I'm missing loads of bites. Yeah, I like that. So, yeah, yeah. don't be ever shy on putting your rig literally one, two, three inches away from your pole. As long as you can still hold it relatively close, present it relatively nice, that's going to massively increase the amount of bites that... I'm not going to say you hook, I'm going to say self-hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's exactly what It's not what really it is. striking involved. When you go to strike, the fish is already on, isn't it? Yeah, for you know F1 I mean? shallow fishing with conventional rigs, striking shouldn't be a thing. No. You don't strike at bites, they no. literally... No, they just hook themselves, don't they? All about tight lines, getting them hook ourselves, and by having the shortest lash possible, that allows you to do exactly that, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, boy! So, he's on! That has been, rather chaotically, our top <laughs> five tips for F1 fishing. Hopefully, they make a little bit of difference for you. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry to interrupt the viewing, folks, but please, please, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Now go, I need to get back to me fishing.